Hi YouTube, how are you doing? Today is Monday the 10th of June 2019. My name's Jan Silver. Uh, I haven't really felt <clears throat> much like sharing stuff. I think um, I hit the five month mark last week and I really struggled, really struggled um, emotionally and yeah, I, I got myself into a pretty dark place and um, which is which is a bit frightening and it's scary and it's kind of not where I want to be, but it's not something that I can control myself. Anyway, I'm out the other end of that at the moment. Um, and I think each time I feel like that, I want to challenge myself a little bit more to do stuff. So you guys know I've been walking. I've been walking lots and lots. Um, I think I did nearly 12 miles on Saturday. Um, I'm feeling good for walking. I think the walking is good for my, my heart, my soul. And, you know, I walk on my own. I, I listen to my radio um, and enjoy my surroundings, I guess. I did talk on YouTube a while ago. I don't know if you guys remember that I wanted to do the Thames path. Well, something kicked in me this weekend and I went and found the source of the River Thames and um, decided yesterday that that's what I'm going to do. So I've completely stepped out of my comfort zone um, with this because today I'm packed up. It's now only, it's 20 to eight in the morning and I'm about to walk to Thatcham train station, get on a train, go to Oxford and I'm gonna complete a part of the Thames path that's accessible by trains. The first part of it in Sirencester where I went yesterday isn't, that'll have to be done. I'll have to plan that a bit more. Whereas today I can walk, I think, it's gonna piss it down with rain, but you know me guys, I'm not gonna let the rain put me off. I've got wet weather gear. I bought some new gaiters um, so my feet don't get wet. And um, yeah, so I'm going to start in Oxford today and I'm going to walk, I think it may be another 12 miles to a place called Cullum near Abingdon. I've booked a and b to stay overnight there and then I will get up in the morning and walk on to perhaps Wallingford or Cholsey the next day. So yeah, I'm I'm just trying to keep busy. I feel like... I feel like I'm walking off my sadness. I'm certainly not walking for health benefits, physical health benefits, if that makes any sense. I'm doing it more for mental health. Walking seems to be a, a good way, a good distraction for me to not forget what's happened, but it helps. I don't know how it helps, but it does. Um, I really wanted to book a holiday abroad. I feel like I need some solitude. I feel like I need some time completely on my own as much as my children are lovely and it's very, very helpful having them around. I do, I think, need some time to reflect and I can't do that while there's noise, busyness or, or whatever. So, but that didn't happen. That caused me my meltdown actually, trying to book a holiday <clears throat> without Howie and realizing I say realising, I knew exactly how much he did in our lives. I knew <clears throat> he was the one in control of his calmness, whereas I can get online and start to look at uh, holidays and I'm completely overwhelmed by so much choice. Always have been, I can't make a decision. So that bothers me a lot that um, this is my life now, that I don't have Howie to bounce off and be able to kind of guide me in the right way so yeah I'm trying to find my way and I think walking's walking's helping me do that oh I wasn't gonna get upset anyway so positively this is me today saying I am um yeah taking a step out of my own comfort zone and um I'm gonna do this walk so it's only a two-day walk today this next couple of days but I'm really hoping that I can grasp this Mason did help me book the B&B &B and stuff. I don't know why, I just still couldn't make a decision or look at the train routes and uh, Lisa, you know what I'm like. So today's a big day for me. Um, and I've got my big girl wet weather pants on and I'm just gonna walk it, walk it. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna walk until I can't walk anymore and see where I end up, I guess. And I will be ticking off each, the, the, the actual walk itself, the Thames path, goes for 184 miles and it goes from Sirencester and you can walk almost all of it right the way up to the Thames Barrier in London and this is where I will end up not all in one go I'm not doing this in a I think you can do the whole walk people have done it in around two weeks 
if you were to plan it and stay over at B&Bs or whatever or camp, but I'm not going to do it like that. I don't have to because I, I'm not working, so I can do it in segments and bits and pieces as I go along. But I just thought I'd upset, update you and let you know that's where that's where I'm at. Um, like I said, I've, I hit rock bottom again and I've just started to pull myself out of that. I've made some terrific friends through a bit like, I know I've said it before, a bit like the WLS community um, on here and the help and support that I gained through my weight loss surgery, um, I've had the most, yeah, the same kind of support and help from people within the widowed community, if you like, if you can call it that. We're, um, there's a, a camp that happened a couple of weekends ago and it was, it was refreshing <clears throat> to be around these people again and to find out everybody's story because everybody's story is different in how they've lost their loved ones or how they're coping with life or <clears throat> what their what their thoughts and feelings and aspirations are now compared to what they were when they were happy and and, and complete I guess um, but I think alongside that I think most of us that had that fantastic I didn't stay but I was there in the daytime and I had breakfast with them all went for a walk um, I think the the week after that a lot of us struggled because you had a, such a high being around people that were were understanding of your situation. So if you cried unexpectedly, nobody batted an eye link because we all we all totally totally get it. And yeah, it was it was refreshing. But then the week after is really hard. You you hit a big low when you've had such a good time, and then you come home and it's reality hits that oh fuck, he's still not here. Nothing's changed, you know. So. I suppose you, you wear a mask, don't you? You put a smile on and think this is all okay, but yeah. No, I am, and I'm talking to somebody um, on a daily basis, to be honest. Hi, Mark. He's in Cyprus at the moment with his daughter, and, and he's been super helpful. Um, just having that communication with him um, every day. If I go for a walk, I sort of say, I'm going for a walk now, I'm back now, and it, it's almost like, dare I say it, that's what I miss from Howie. I miss that communication and telling somebody where I am or what I'm doing or, or whatever. So, so yeah, I'm happy to say that I've got a really good friendship in, in this guy who's also widowed. Um, and yeah, that's, that's about where I'm at right now. So anyway, I'm going to walk to Fetcham train station, get on a train, hopefully don't end up in Scotland, but you never know, right? You know me, I'm a bit, mm. and Hopefully I can pick up this YouTube again and tell you about my walking adventures, if you like to know. So I hope you're all really well, healthy and happy. I do know Ella's doing really well. I haven't had much contact with Claire. I haven't I haven't put myself out there. Um, I do think about you often, Claire and Dawn. I miss you both dreadfully. I'm just still, I don't, I don't think I'm still in the place where I can see people that I used to see before, Howie. You know, I, I think you understand. Um, but obviously Ella's doing really well. Um, and I'm sending all of my love to all of you. Thanks for still following and I'll chat to you all again soon. Take care. Bye.